yeah, you know, again, disappointing uh, game. It's been a disappointing year. Um, you know, it's been very, very hard to to uh, win football games. Um, what I had meshed together on offense, in particular, you know, is not is abysmal. So it it, uh, it manifests itself into every other facet, and uh, and we're looking to get better. So everybody tried hard last week. Everybody's going to try hard again. We're excited about uh, playing Tulane in the in the final game of our home stadium on Senior Day. Everybody's got to give everything they have within them for the seniors, and uh, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll take questions for Coach Diaco. Please star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. The first question comes from John Altavia at Hartford Current. Good morning, Coach Diaco. Hi, John. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering, in August, you know, before the main game, the season started, what were your – most vivid aspirations for this team at that point. What what were you thinking about? What were you foreseeing in August for this group? Yeah, I mean, I was hopeful that we would be better than we were in 2015, absolutely. Exactly what that meant and looked like um, in particular, you know, would have, you know, shown itself. But, you know, obviously take a step forward, not a step back. All this retooling that uh, you've alluded to that's going to take place with the program after the season, uh, either tactically or with your coaching staff, whatever, I'm wondering how much do you think needs to be done with the talent base of the players? Oh, I don't think the players are the, – we got good players. We got good players. We got good players. They're, they're uh, talented. They're, they try hard. They're smart. They love football. Um, I have no, I have no, um, I have no, you know, other than coaching here and there, little, little, little day to day things that we do and correct every day. I mean, um, you know, obviously we're, we're working on every player to improve the player every single day. Um, but overall, from a big picture standpoint, I have no, I have no negative comments to say about the players now, zero. Um, is, would you say Noel Thomas has been the bright, the brightest point on this team this year? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would say that absolutely. Considering too how much he's persevered um, with on that side. I mean, to to even shine um, to shine over there uh, is even more impressive. I mean, it's it, it's it's uh, pretty spectacular, honestly. Um, based on you know just how many circus catches he's had to make rather than catch and run opportunities for him, he'd have, uh, whether he'd have more receptions or not, um, as the most, you know, prolific receiver in UConn history, um, for in terms of receptions, um, he'd have so many more yards had the balls been catch and run for him. He's really been spectacular uh, without even, you know, it's impressive just a little reading it and looking at it, but it's been spectacular if you're actually – truly invested in and really, really watching. Finally, Bob, uh, Donovan Williams, um, do you see him as the type of kid uh, as he continues to mature that might throw the ball 30 times a game, or is he, is he that I, kind of quarterback in your eye? I do. He's a really, really talented guy, really talented. And uh, he can he – can, and you saw – you know, you see glimpses of it. Um, he can really zip it in there, strong arm, fast release, good speed, escapability, very bright, um, charismatic leader. He has all the he has all the stuff. He has all the stuff. Hard to hard to see it all right now, but he's got it all. It's all in there. All right, Bob. Thanks for everything this season. Sure. Appreciate no it. problem. Yeah, have a have a great holiday too, John. Thank you. The next question comes from Dan Tatora at wakeupcalldt.com. Good morning, Coach. Hi, Dan. To uh, to take a look, I know you were uh, speaking a little bit on the, the senior class. To, to speak on these seniors, including OB Melifon, just what you can say about what they've meant to this program despite wins and losses, especially this year, and, and then namely OB, what you can say about him and his future. Yeah, uh, we just spoke about Noel, so I don't have to keep going there. But um, Ob yep. is uh, Ob 
as I said from the beginning, um, evidence of his senior bowl invitation. Um, he's one of the very best players in America. Um, I think he's the very best at his position. I believe he's put that kind of um, uh, season together also from a footage standpoint. You're going to see a very aggressive tackler with block destruction and and some great traits there. Not exactly, like I said, I haven't had a chance to, you know, just look at him specifically. You, you might do that, Dan, with, with all the other safeties and how many tackles he has relative to the other safeties in the country. But I, I would think he'd be one of the top tackling uh, producers at his position also. So, um, and then when they get a chance to work him out, it's going to be off the charts. That, that's really going to be off the charts. Um, but, but he put a season's worth of footage together um, to, to help that cause. So I'm looking forward to seeing that totally manifest itself. Um, Michael Myers has been great all year, hard to block, you know, um, one, one, you know, just a real bright spot uh, at nose guard um, and a great energy, did a great job being a captain. I'm very, very impressed uh, with his year that he's had and his leadership. Matt Walsh, um, another another defensive captain, um, so positive, great teammate, um, very encouraging. There's not a guy on the team that doesn't respect him, but also really like him. And the amount of growing up that he's done uh, uh, since we met, you know, three years ago um, is pretty spectacular. I mean, and he did it, just profound. Um, his change and, and the and the man uh, that he's built himself into, um, you know, really a lot, a lot of respect with his teammates, as he should have. Um, Andreas Canapi, um, you know, a guy that's played football for <clears> – he's played tackle for two and a half years or three years, let's say, here. Um, before that, a little bit of D-line, and before that, nothing. So to be a two-time captain for the team, and then his best football is out in front of him. Um, he's going to get better and better, you know, in seven years from now, he'll, he'll really be coming into his own as an offensive lineman. Um, if that's his, if that's his course, um, because he's really kind of like a young pup as it relates to playing tackle, his best football's out in front. He's a great guy, very charismatic, really caring, very smart. Um, and, and has been a, just a great senior Brian Lamell. Not, I mean, there's other guys too, but, uh, Brian Lamell, um, with his energy and his selflessness, uh, uh, quiet, you know, quiet goes about his business, but a uh, great, great worker and, and somebody that you can look to and say, you know, hey, this is how you do your business as a student athlete. Um, a great student body member, never in trouble, um, good student, great worker on the field, a lot of respect with his teammates and coaches. Let's just name a few seniors that have been just exemplary for us. And coach, as far as I know, you said, you know, I can't say anything bad about my players. When you look at your yourself and you look at this season, obviously not turning out the way that you wanted it to. What can you say about what you tried to do and how you kind of assess yourself as a coach in this moment, and and just what you try to do leadership wise as you look forward and obviously look forward to brighter days to come with this next game and so forth. Yeah, Dan the. Um... I take full accountability for what I meshed together for 2016 has produced the record that we have right now, and specifically on offense. The offense, what, what I blended together uh, to, to, to roll out so abysmal that it actually, you know, that nothing looks good. Nothing, everything looks terrible, which is not true, which is an absolute mis, 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 uh, uh, representation in every facet. Um, uh, so, so moving forward, um, and, and, and like I said, and, and I don't, I'm not trying to just paint, paint Dan, I'm not trying to paint just a, a paint it with a, with a, with a, with a nice brush. There are so many areas that are operating at a very high level that um, that don't need to be fixed. That that I can see clearly what does need to be fixed. I know exactly what needs to be fixed, and 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 as soon as I possibly can, um, I'm going to fix it. And we're going to get back to uh, the step that we were looking forward to taking. And we brought this team 
from the dregs back to a bowl in year two and 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 and, and surely was was not anticipating a step back and uh and we're going to get it fixed and some of that fix has already begun um and and uh, and we're going to get back to turning this program back around so i'm looking forward to it well thanks coach for your time this year happy thanksgiving yeah happy thanksgiving dan